Oh my god, it's so nice to be back in this spot. Let me tell ya. I did not have any outlets for a while up here, so it's been a bit of a challenge where to film to talk. What we're gonna go do is we are gonna hop into the thrift store and just see if I can find something that can motivate a centerpiece for my dining room table because every season I do something to that space and I do that at the beginning of autumn and then I'll do it again right before Thanksgiving because then it becomes the holiday table. But this is the slow transition for me into the autumn season. I love it so much. I love like everything about leading up to Christmas and it starts now. <laughs> Some of you are like, oh, I'm not ready, but like, I'm ready. I'm already pumpkin spice and everything. I got, how many followers did I just lose when I said that, the P word? I don't understand why other people get so mad when everyone else is excited about pumpkin. Why do people get so upset? <laughs> it's just like, let us live our lives. If, if people want to get stoked about a flavor, chill out. <laughs> I have pumpkin spice coffee creamer. I even bought pumpkin flavor cinnamon rolls and I'm saving those for this weekend. I got something else pumpkin. What else was it? What was that? What in the hell? What did I get? Oh, whipped cream. Pumpkin spice whipped cream. Now I have a rule that I can't put whipped cream on my coffee until the weekend because I don't want to have it on my coffee every morning. But I want to do at least one pumpkin spice coffee where I do the pumpkin spice creamer and then I do the whip and then I sprinkle pumpkin spice seasoning on top of it. <gasps> It's gonna be so delicious. And I need to get all of my pumpkin-y autumnal Halloween-y mugs and coffee mugs down from above the cabinets because I put them away for the season. The 1st of August to Halloween is not enough time. I need a full two months to enjoy it. And then after exactly the day after Halloween, it's like thanks Christmas. Like <laughs> it's Thanksgiving for us, but most people that, you know, are not in the United States just start Christmas, you know, which I totally understand because you're like, it's time, you know, <laughs> it's Mariah Carey comes out singing and everything. So I, I like to start it ASAP. Let's get this week started. Let's have some fun. I rambled too much. Great job, Sienna. Check it out. This is what I got for the weekend. Don't judge me. Pumpkin spice rolls made with cinnamon. Cinnamon. <gasps> mm. <laughs> it's gonna be so good. Ah. And then this. I do want to just <laughs> sit here and just fill my mouth with this. But I won't. I won't. I won't do it. Might have some sliced apple and hit the road. Just when you think your house is going to get cleaner, it, it just gets messier. Every hanging wall lantern of any kind has been removed because we now have overhead can lights and we're really trying to just minimize things that we don't need. We like these, but they might just end up somewhere else. This is a yellow gold, like a goldenrod colored skirt and a G-Star Raw t-shirt. Okay, we are here. Very busy, very busy. So we're gonna beeline it to the home section and get this uh, kind of done quickly. So I'm hoping whatever I'm looking for, I find right away. I will say I've been looking for baskets, so maybe we'll find some. I really loved this plate. I thought that would be a beautiful place to start, but then I saw the price tag. 13 is far too much for a wood plate at a thrift store. This was cute but I just don't know what I would do with it. And then I saw a bunch of Halloween stuff. That hadn't even crossed my mind. I was still thinking leaves and autumn and cold weather, but then these things all were just so cute. Then I got an idea. You guys, this is it. All right, I picked up the mummy plate. I picked up a bunch of other stuff that I was like, this is it, okay? I'm just gonna like grab a bunch of little things, some baskets. Mm -mm. No, no, no. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm turning this mofo into a freaking haunted house. <laughs> I have seen people do this over and over again on social media, but I never get tired of seeing everyone's version of a haunted house because you can do you can decorate it in so many different ways. This is gonna be really fun. I saw two houses there. The first one was the one I saw first. So that's the first one I grabbed thinking that would be the one I was gonna do. 
but then I moved some things around on the top shelf and lo and behold this little sucker pops out at me it actually could almost go Christmas too because it has these guys um, but I think I can turn these into skeletons I just think this is gonna be so freaking fun I'm so excited um, so yeah let's go buy some spray paint we're going to Target and I need to grab some stuff for my makeup kit anyway so this is perfect look at those clouds they look like big old bunches of cauliflower <laughs> look at them can you see the clouds so i am going to go to the dollar store because i feel like maybe they have some i don't know if i want to do like battery operated can i definitely am not putting a real votive candles in this thing so i need some sort of candle flickering that's like led uh, so I might just pop in there to see if they have anything and plus sometimes they have some like decent Halloween stuff And I feel like Target in that front section that's like three five bucks, whatever uh, They usually have some good decor as well. So I'm gonna peek there. I'm definitely getting some spray paint black spray paint I'm gonna like risk it and just buy one can Because I don't think I'm gonna need more than one whole can for this little dollhouse so Target did have their Halloween stuff out in the three and five section, a disco spider, and then a lot of really colorful rainbow Halloween stuff. That's just not my vibe. I need my Halloween to be dark and spooky. And then also all of the stuff in the aisles were picked through already. I really hope they're restocking. There's no way. This can't be it but I got spray paint, so yay. All right, here she is in full glory. Look at this thing. That is gonna make the coolest haunted house. The moment this is spray painted black, it looks creepy. So it doesn't take much. I need to get rid of these guys, obviously. I have the other side of this door came off. Oh my God, the puzzle room will look really cool painted. Okay, first coat is on. I'll just have to go around and do some touch-ups, but I definitely have plenty of paint left to finish. It looks so creepy already. I love it. I love the double doors. Oh, I see a spot. project day the best day of the week i love project day i'm so excited about this i actually already went outside and checked if it needed some touch-ups and it did i did a little bit of research i did look up on like pinterest and different blogs and on like instagram and youtube all these different uh haunted houses where people did this exact project where they went to the thrift store or to wherever and bought a dollhouse and then painted it and turned it into a cool looking Halloween-y haunted house. And I felt that the ones that I loved the most were the ones that were left more all black and making them look like a real haunted house. Like some people were doing the wood boards over the windows to make it look spooky. I like things to look spooky witchy. You guys know how I feel about witchy cabin. You know how I feel about my witchy vibes and things that make me feel like, <laughs> I'm in practical magic. It's, this is year round. This is not just a seasonal thing for me. This is something I am tapped into all throughout the year. I love it. But this time of year, it really ramps up. Pastel Halloween is in. Everyone's doing it. And you know, if that's your thing and that's what you're into, 
I could totally understand if you're a pastel person, then that would excite you and you'd be really excited about it. But I'm not, I'm not really a fan of pastels. It just doesn't go with my skin tone. It doesn't go with me. It just doesn't fit me out of that section in the front of Target. I didn't see anything else because the shelves were all empty or they were pastel. Um, so I just got this, which I thought these little jars full of miniature things was perfect for doing my witch house. I'm gonna call it a witch house instead of a haunted house because it's a witch's house. And I love this. Everything else I got at the dollar store. And I just bought this because they didn't have baskets in the front. So I just filled this up and used this as my basket. That's how they get you. I have this, which I already actually own this. I, I have the string of skeletons, but I wanted to get another one because I'm gonna cut them off the string and just use the skeletons for the house. They're just gonna be hanging out. This I loved, I loved. He's going to go on top of the house. So just kind of crawling over the house, this giant spider. So they did have like a whole party favor section and that was the perfect place to find miniature things. And these are all glow hands. How cool will these look? when everything lights turn low and the candles are on all the lights are out we're watching a movie we've got the house lit up and this thing is like glowing all over the house i think this is going to be really cool and also how fun would it be to put these like in your plants all around your house during halloween just little hands like coming out of your soil i think that would be such a cute idea and then they didn't have regular spiders they only had bejeweled spiders but that's okay. I don't mind bejeweled. I think they're fun. So I'll have to clip them off of the, the uh, ring that they're on. I might have like keep two for myself to put on my hands for Halloween. But yeah, and this is a great place to buy party favors that you can throw into your candy dish. Because when I have candy that I f give out to the kids, I like to have things that they can play with too. So if it's like a little fun ring spider that's fun for the kiddos because we do have trick-or-treaters that come here and i live for it i get so excited about the trick-or-treaters you have no idea they're so cute and uh then i also got these pumpkins which i think will be fun to decorate the house with little miniature pumpkins perfect perfect I also just because I had to. <laughs> I had to. Little mini mouse socks, but it's Halloween mini. So she's got like spider web bow. She's got like hands that are bones. And yeah, I just thought it was cute. And then lastly, I have little votos. Now I don't want to put real candles in this thing. It's plastic. It could catch on fire. I, that terrifies me. So we're going to go with the battery operated LEDs and plus these are tiny perfect size to put into the little house. So we did it. That's everything for our little de decoration moment here. I'm going to go look for some paint, get everything downstairs, set everything up. I'm going to throw a pumpkin muffin in the oven and we're going to get started. It's an absolutely beautiful day. I just had a corn dog, so did not check my lipstick to make sure I don't look crazy. <laughs> Probably should. I decided to sit outside and do this. I've got my baby speaker so I can listen to the Practical Magic soundtrack. I've actually brought this operation indoors because it's getting a little bit overcast and chilly outside. And I wanted to finally start the Mayfair Witches. So I'm gonna watch that while I'm making my witchy castle. <laughs> I still don't know what to call it because it's a haunted house for sure. Starting off strong with a very creepy house. This is inspiration. I really like the effect they have going on on the weathering of the front of the house. See how everything looks weathered and old? That's what I'm trying to do here.
feeling I'm gonna be working on this for a while, just throughout the weekend as I have the time, but I think I've got it to a place where I can at least put the candles in it and just see what it looks like. Look, they flicker. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> can you see, is it focusing? Focus, focus, focus. <laughs> there, I love that they flicker. Actually, these are really good for just Halloween stuff in general. Honestly, you guys, you just, all you do is pull the little thingamajobby and then you've got yourself a flickering light. What it looks like, flickering. Oh, <sighs> this makes me very happy. <laughs> oh, it's the little things in life. Okay, you can't even see that one, it's too low. I might have to put this one on something. But the ones up in the top windows definitely show through. Oh, it's so lovely. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna need more. <laughs> okay, let me get all these in and I'll show you a little close up. I am so pleased with how this turned out. It looks so good. I just imagine sitting here at night on the couch watching the Mayfair Witches <laughs> and getting to admire my little twinkling haunted house from over here. And I did like a kind of aged thing. Let me turn the lights up so you guys can see that. So I kind of went in with like an aged effect and I think I kind of want to keep working at it, but I did that so it looked really old and antiqued. And so I just took a, honestly, I took a cosmetic sponge because <laughs> I needed something spongy and the little sponge brush I had just wasn't cutting it. I needed something really soft. So I just took the cosmetic sponge and dipped it in a few different colors and just washed it all over the whole thing to get it to get that effect. And I think that worked out really nice because all black wasn't enough, but I didn't want to overdo it. And I just think that makes it look really old and creepy. So it's got that like weathered look to it. And then I hung the witch's broom here. I thought that was a cute idea. Um, I took the Google eyes off the spider because it just made it look kind of cartoony and cheesy. I think it looks better without. Anyway, tomorrow is wedding days in Seattle. I'll see if I can update you at all for that, but um, yeah, if not, maybe I can get this closed out kind of sooner than later so that uh, I can get it edited. All right, I just got done with bride and bridal party number one. And now we are on to the second one. I have a little bit of time. My makeup kit is a complete mess. So I found a grocery store near the location I'm supposed to be at, which is the Arboretum. And I'm in an area called Madison Park, which is an area I forgot about in Seattle. And it's so cute. Burt's Red Apple Market. And um, see if I can get some paper towels to clean my kit and like a snack. I got paper towels to clean my brushes since I didn't have any. I usually bring some and I forgot. I got cashew noodles, organic pomegranate sparkling beverage, looks delish. A snack for the drive home. <laughs> and this is for right now, Italian chicken. It is very random. <laughs> most random lunch ever but this is what I was in the mood for oh and then like peanut butter M&Ms for the drive home too because they're my favorite good morning pumpkin I don't have a nickname for my viewers and whenever people do most of the time it bothers me 
I don't want to be called someone's little chicken. <laughs> and if I don't know if anybody does that, so that wasn't like a dig at someone. I literally just made that up. So if that's what somebody says, I'm not trying to make fun of them. I personally just don't want a pet name. But um, if I did, it'd be Pumpkin. <laughs> I'm gonna open this together because I wanted to end on a high note. If you guys didn't know, I am an affiliate with Ipsy, but they have some specials running and I'm allowed to share that with you guys. So let me pull that up. Okay, so they have a limited time gift with purchase offer. If you subscribe, you get a free Ofra Cosmetics face palette on top of what you would normally get in your Ipsy, which is five full size products. You can pause anytime, you could cancel anytime. Oh, there's more. So throughout September, they're offering $10 off purchases of 25 or more in the Ipsy shop. So if you go into their Ipsy shop, that's a place where you can get a lot of discounted prestige makeup. So if you're somebody who wants to try prestige, but it is very expensive. I mean, most single eyeliners are $25. <laughs> Brow liner is over 20 bucks. That's a lot for one thing. That means you can only buy four items for $100 and it just, it gets so expensive and most things are not 25. Most things are more. Palettes are more, skincare is so expensive. They pre-select based off of your quiz that you do in the beginning. You can, you can really stock up on things and save a lot of money in the long run. So I have so much stuff and I'd say nine out of 10 of the products I have anymore and get anymore are from Ipsy. Even stuff that I'm using to stock my makeup kit. So if you're a makeup artist, this stuff for a while was 40% off on Ipsy. That's how much it is if you're a pro member for most of the cosmetic lines. So any and anybody can get them at that deal. So it's just a really great way. That's my spiel. This is not sponsored. I just wanted you guys to know that. And if you click the link and use the link for these benefits, then just know that it's an affiliate link. Try it for a month. See what you think. Use the deals get the offers and then see how you feel and if you like it. I love it. I, you guys know I love it. I talk about it every month. You get a little newspaper piece with some information on it and I did an add-on. I have a list of things just on my notes of things that I need. So I'm like, oh, I need another eye cream. I'll put that in the notes on my phone so that when my Ipsy selection comes in in my email, I know that I can go shop the extras and the add-ons and get those items. So this was an add-on, but I got this because I don't remember a lot of color being in here. I think it's a lot of hair and skincare. So I wanted to get one thing that's color. And I actually did remember that I got something cheek. I got some sort of cheek palette and I did not put blush on today because I wanted to try this. This is the Rhubarb and Rose Creamy Lip and Cheek Palette. I forgot it was a lip palette. I really like this, uh, print they have on the box. That's really pretty. Oh, pretty. Look how cute. Look at all of these blush colors. They're all multifunctional. You can use them on your cheek and you can use them on your lips. Do I need to take this off? Let's take this off. Gosh, what color? This is going to be really pretty. Oh my God. <laughs> I was like not expecting it to be that colorful. <gasps> wow. Sometimes cream blushes are really sheer. This is not sheer. Ooh. Oh, this is gonna be like my new favorite blush. Oh, I love that. Oh, it smells good. It smells like chapstick that I remember from when I was a kid. <laughs> it smells really good. Once you work it, like the brush into it and kick up the, the smell, it really, it really has like a nice fragrance to it. Look at that. The lighting in here is horrible right now. What's going on? Will this help? Does that help? I feel like that helped. It like brightened up the background. Just felt like it was looking a little dark in here. Oh my gosh. That really goes on like bright. Cool. It kind of gives you that like powdered lip. I actually really, really like this. Who is Rhubarb and Rose? I love this. This is great. I'm so glad I added this on. I've never even heard. See, this is what I'm saying. You find brands you've never even heard of. I love this. All right, next thing we have here is by Dry Bar. It is the Triple Sec 3-in-1 Finishing Spray. My hair was so pretty and bouncy yesterday morning because I woke up, showered, and curled it, but then it was just wet weather all day. So this is when I slept on it, what I woke up to is like frizzy, angry hair <laughs> from being wet. Airy Dry Finishing Spray provides instant texture, volume, and body for a tousled, sexy look. Is it tousled? Oh, it smells so good. Gosh, I love that. Okay, this is looking a little out of control. Wow. Okay, not only does that smell amazing, but look at my two soles. 
<laughs> wow. That really did give me volume, which I don't have. All right, what do we got next? Eloise Flawless Loose Setting Powder. Okay. Something is tickling the shit. Okay, now that cream base is making my hair stick to my face. This is the Eloise Loose Setting Powder. Look at the little butterflies. Very cool. Anything exciting? Say goodbye to fine lines and large pores. We have the Drunk Elephant and Chris McMillan Mega Moisturizing Masker. This thing is huge. Smooths and softens extra thirsty damage or color processed hair. Marula butter, sunflower fatty acids, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, after cleaning your hair, apply a small amount. Wait three minutes and then rinse. For a deeper treatment, apply a generous amount and wait 30 minutes. So this is literally just going to be a hair mask, not a leave-in. Glad I read that all the way through because I'm a sucker for conditioner and that kind of thing. No real smell to it, but cool. That'll be going in the shower and I usually do masks like first and then I shave and then I have a little pumice stone for my feet. We have Cream Eyeshadow by Naraya. Never heard of it, but excited to try it. Packaging, I love it. I'm such a sucker for these little types of things. I don't know why. Maybe when I was younger, my aunt always had like really nice stuff. <laughs> she always had beautiful things. Maybe when I see stuff like this, I just think of like all the beautiful products she had in her collection of makeup and skincare. I don't know, cause did I ever really see? Did I ever go into her bathroom? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's like a bronzed cream. Actually, that's really pretty. Wow, it just dried down and is stuck on my hand. Like that is not going anywhere. Holy crap. Now at this point, when you glide your hand over it, it barely comes off. It almost like set immediately on my hand. Holy crap. Okay, so if you put that on your finger, I mean, if you put that on your eye, it probably, it's cream based, but it's not, I can't get it off. <gasps> I'm so like, what, what? I need something oil-based. Well, I have makeup remover downstairs. I'll do it downstairs. Holy mackerel. So if you're looking for a staying power cream base, try this Naraya collection. If you have issues with cream-based eyeshadows not like drying down enough and creasing if you blink or open your eyes, it like creases. If it's too thick, I don't know why I have so much saliva in my mouth. Why is it like this? I mean, sometimes if my coffee is really close and I can smell it, I start drooling. <laughs> yes. Yes! <laughs> Sorry, I am such a dork. I just forgot about this and I love when I get fragrance in my Ipsies. Every season I get really excited to spray new fragrances so that it reminds me of that season. And autumn I get really excited about. I did it for Christmas. I have a fragrance I sprayed right around Christmas time last year. And now every time I spray it, it just makes me feel happy. <laughs> so this is anyway, this is the Kaoli. Is that how you say it, Kaoli? I, I, I hear people talking about this all the time. I've seen it at Sephora on the shelf, so it always draws my eye because the packaging is so beautiful, but I've never actually bought one. Spray the, oh my gosh, it's brown. Wow. I don't think I have any fragrance that's brown. Vanilla Cocoa 21 Utopia. Oh my God. Oh my God, that's so nice. I love that. Oh, I can just, curl up in it with a blanket. You guys, that is the best. Pear, jasmine, coconut, sandalwood, and vanilla bourbon. Stop it. That smells amazing. It's making me feel angry. <laughs> Do you ever love something so much you're like, damn it! <laughs> that smells so freaking good. Two uses and it's gone. Well, I would definitely buy this in a larger bottle because I'm obsessed. I don't get the vanilla as much and I'm glad that it's not really strong vanilla because I have one that's just pure vanilla. It's one of my favorite for layering. So if you're wearing like something smoky or something woody and then you put the vanilla on it with it, it layers really well. This doesn't need layering. This is a whole ass fragrance of many, many layers many levels. I get the coconut completely. Oh, the jasmine. I can smell that too. The pear, you can smell every single thing it says. That's wild. It's wild. Okay. I'm, I'm like really blown away. I feel like I'm being annoying, but maybe that's just because I'm annoyed by myself. I'm an, I annoy myself all the time. <laughs>
But yeah, anyway, so excited about this. Okay, if you guys are looking for a fragrance that just like will blow your socks off, it's sexy, it's warm. Mm, it makes me wanna like light a fire and like take a shower and shave everything and spray my body down and just look at my husband like this. <laughs> and he'll be like, what's gotten into you? Have you been watching Outlander again? <laughs> Claire, <laughs> Jamie, Jamie. Anyway, <laughs> he actually calls it Inlander because it's like every time he looks at the TV, they're getting it on. <laughs> All right, that's it, everybody. I hope you liked the uh, little makeup sesh we had and a nice ending to this video. I just posted The Haunted House. Now, if you ever wanna see how the projects turn out long before they go up on YouTube, because YouTube is a roundup of my week, the content that I make to post for like midweek is usually already up. And so you kind of get spoilers of what's happening in the YouTube video, but I tried waiting and like not posting it before the YouTube video goes up, but then all of my stuff goes out at the same time and I feel like it's overkill. You can go to my Instagram and you can watch all the spoilers, but you don't get the full story and the full behind the scenes like you get here on YouTube. And if you are somebody who wants to slow things down and you're not trying to be a quick scroller, for me, YouTube will always be number one because I am 100% a sit down, have a coffee, and invest my time to spend with these people for 30 minutes to 45 minutes, some YouTubers an hour, and just, watch their story unfold, especially vloggers who share their week, which is my favorite. When people do weekly vlogs like I do, it's why I make this content because it's what I like to watch. I love it, I eat it up, I like to see how they life, how they do their lives. Show me your life. <laughs> I wanna know. That house came out so cute. I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna go edit this and get it up so you guys can have it up by Sunday or Monday, depending on how long it takes me. That is it. I am done. Babble McGee. Thank you so much for watching this far and if you have subscribe if you're not a subscriber that would really help me and give me a thumbs up i love to see that and i'll see you guys on the next video i don't even know what i'm doing but we'll see ya bye